Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel Starr, and a lot of people have been asking me to do more schizo vids. Vids relating. Vids relating. Speaking in tongues, sorry. Vids relating to my schizophrenia and I guess um, other mental illness stuff like that. And I don't really know what exactly you want me to say that I kind of haven't already said. Um, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, nothing's, like, happened. But I'm like, oh, my God, I gotta tell you guys about. So, yeah. What exactly? If you guys, like, have any questions and stuff, I always answer my email. It does take me a few days. As you know, my reading and writing kind of comes and goes. Um, so, yeah. If you guys ever want to, like, have questions, just send them to me. As far as what to make a video about, uh, I guess this is interesting. So, I've uh, been back on Prozac for a few weeks now. I'm supposed to always be on it, but I kind of, like, yeah. But anyway, I've been back on it. I'm on, like, the highest dose they'll let you take. <sighs> anyway. So, quite a bit. And I'm also on the knockoff brand of it. Florixetine, Florixetine, whatever. Anyway, uh, so my challenges with uh, going through this and anyone who may be on, like, certain antidepressants, I've been on a lot uh, pretty much for the past many years. Um, but something that's, I don't know if it happened last time I was on Prozac and I just don't remember or if it's just something about this time. The magic cocktail of life has created it. But I now shake. I'm like a little of those little scared chihuahuas. I'm barely shaking right now. Like I don't even know if the like the camera can tell. It's a real very slight. The don't get to the point where I'm just like out of control and like I can't like hold pins like to write. And uh, the first time I really noticed it was I teach modeling and acting classes. Um, that's one of my side jobs. And I was actually giving them an example of a monologue, and I'm up there performing it as I always do. I just jump right in, don't have to think. And as I'm talking, I look down, and the paper that has it I was holding was like this, and I couldn't control it. I was like, oh my god. Like, I remember just like, I'm in the middle of talking, doing this whole thing, and I'm like looking at my hand, and it's just, I think the paper like shaking was what made me realize I was doing it because I don't even like notice or feel it and I'm just, just shaking out of control and I'm standing there talking and they're all staring at me all these kids like oh this is our instructor <laughs> and I'm just like like tensing my muscles trying to like control it and it wouldn't work and it just kind of blew my mind because I've just never had that problem before and I do notice certain things make it worse a lack of sleep as always kills me um but being nervous, when I do get nervous, certain people, like, you know, just make me nervous where I don't think I act nervous in front of them. But the shaking is like, oh my god, no, she's nervous. She's not right here. Right here, you guys. Or, uh, you know, just some people are, like, naturally intimidating that you work with and stuff. Or, like, you, you know, like or something. But you, like, get nervous around because you don't like, like, new friends and stuff. So, like, yeah, I'm, like, shaking out of control around, like, these people. And, like, my boss is at work. And I'm like, dang it. So I don't know if you guys have, uh, I mean, I've had a lot of problems with like side effects and stuff. This is just one that I've been experiencing. So yeah, it's weird. It is. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's, it's weird. I've kind of gotten used to it because like it doesn't hurt. It's not, I'd say as far as side effects that I've experienced from um, different medications, this is one of the tamest. Um, unfortunately, it's one of the ones that people notice um, or I guess, you know, if I'm sick to my stomach, if um they make my depression worse or like make me go manic. People don't really necessarily notice as side effects. But uh, <clears throat> the shaking people notice. I've been stopped three times now. Three times at the gym um, for shaking. Once they thought, you know, I had like lifted too much because I was just shaking uncontrollably trying to do the weights. And I'm like, no, no, this I do this all the time. I am fine. I'm not going to drop the weight. I promise. I'm just, you know, <sighs> like shaking. Um, the other time they uh, pretty much came over me and said, hey, you need to take a breather. And I was like, literally, I had been there five minutes. And I'm like, no, I don't need to take a breather. I'm fine. Really, please stop caring. You make me nervous, which just makes it worse. And then this last time, which is the most interesting, I'm over there. I'm doing my, like, workout and stuff. And at no point do I, like, come close to hitting my head that I know of. I don't know. But they thought I had a concussion because I was shaking so, like, out of control that they ran over and they are like, we just need you to sit down. We think you've had a concussion. And I'm like, no, no, I haven't. And they're like, no, no, we understand. We're going. And they're like, you're shaking. You don't understand what's going on. And it was so funny because I was out of breath from like running. So I'm like having a hard time speaking too. But it has nothing to do with me having. I, I'm like, I did not hit my head. I was like, thank you for worrying about me. Thank you for doing your job. But no, really, I'm fine. I'm like trying to explain all this, except I'm like, don't really. I'm out of my frozen. So it was. <coughs> <coughs> totally believe. 
unbelievable. So that is about the only thing I can think of to tell you guys. I don't have any like updates on my schizo. Just kind of doing my thing. Taking it day by day. Some days are better. Some days are worse. Uh, yeah. So if you have any questions, I mean... Uh, and people are always sending me things like, what about wherever you're on this drug, where you're on this drug. I've pretty much been on all antipsychotics and all um, schizo bipolar type drugs. However, um, none of the ones that have come out in the last two years because I kind of all I've taken is Prozac from there on out. Um, so I don't know what to tell you guys about that. Uh, someone asked me about lithium the other day. Um, lithium is like a really old uh, mental disorder drug, but it's shown to work really well in a lot of people. I couldn't keep it down. It also will tear your stomach up. Prozac tears me up too. The uh, prescription I'm on is just so intense. Like it takes a few weeks to like not constantly be sick and to eat more than like a handful of food because you're just like, like it, I'm just like sit down at the table and be like no. But lithium like actually made me throw up constantly. Like I felt fine eating it, but then it would come up later. Whereas the Prozac, the dosage I'm on, kind of like just makes me not even want to like eat because I'm just like. Ugh. I do eat now. It's it's that was like for three weeks. I'm good now. Trust me. I'm like nom, 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 nom. Uh, but yeah. So lithium, lithium is a hardcore drug. As far as does does it work? Like as far I mean, a lot of people um, it does, but I don't know because I was only on it for two weeks and I literally couldn't keep any of it down. Like I just kept like I was throwing up the pills and every like I'd take it and you know it wouldn't be long till I was just pretty much throwing up. So of course the pills, you know, after they disintegrated, but still most of it came back up. So they ended up yeah pulling me off that. And, yeah, so, I don't know as far as stuff like that. I wish I could help you guys, and a lot of times I was on so many medications at once, and, um, different dosages, and they all just kind of, like, melted together in my mind, so, I don't know. Only thing I can tell you is, like, current side effects, and one good thing is that, I guess, uh, for the stuff that I have been on, for me, understand, for Rachel, uh, Prozac does cause me the least amount of side effects, like, really the shaking, like, it's not bad. It doesn't hurt me. It just kind of happens. And I just, the worst is that I get slightly embarrassed. Like, slightly. Even then, I'm like, shh. And it's annoying at the gym when they keep coming over. I'm like, oh no, I didn't notice I was shaking. Thank you for pointing it out. Thank you. It is painfully aware to everyone now that something is wrong. Thank you. Thank you. Go back in the little desk room. I'm Rachel Starr. As always, um, you can put uh, questions down there, but I know a lot of people don't want to do that, and that's totally fine. Don't feel you ever have to, um, like, like say who you are and stuff. But you can always send me an email, Rachel at Rachel Starr Live. Um, you can message me, you know, on the different things that I Twitter and all that stuff. But if you want to do it anonymously, you know, so people don't know, you can always message me, Rachel at RachelStarLive.com. I will never, of course, share your info. I don't keep people's emails. I'll never be like, oh, so just a couple from Washington's asked. No, like I, I won't, so don't worry, and, and a lot of times I don't even like bring up, I just kind of randomly, like I said, the person, somebody asked me about lithium, and things like that, so. Hope this helps, I hope this is what everyone wanted, I feel like I've let people down. Anyway, what are we talking about? I don't know. I'm Rachel Starnham out.